Hello everyone, welcome to Pandas tutorial. I'm going to cover how to create and update row and columns. There are various ways and various situations to create a row and column and update row and column. So in this tutorial, I'm going to cover as much as possible. First, we need to import the Pandas and I'm going to use Pandas as PD. And I have the data frame which is from this friend dict list here. So I'm going to click shift enter here and say df.head to take a look at this data frame. As you can see we have three rows, John, uh, Jenny, Nate and three columns name, age, job. What if we want to have the salary column here? Let's create a new column name salary. Uh, df and a new uh, column name is salary here, salary. And I'm going to give the default value by zero here. Shift enter. So let's take a look at this data frame now. As you can see, we just created a new column name, salary, and gave zero by default here. Uh, let's try on another one. Uh, student doesn't have a salary, but the other job should have a salary. So we can say student doesn't have a salary, the other job has a salary. In this case, we can utilize NumPy here. So let's import NumPy here as NP and let's use some interesting way to say salary is yes or salary is no here. So the F salary, uh, salary is numpy.where, where uh, the F job, if the DF job is not student, then uh, the salary is there or there is no salary. So shift enter here and let's check it out here. Now you can see the student salary no, the other job salary yes. So in the kind of binary situation you can use a numpy and the numpy that where will let you have the, the column uh, something like yes or no something binary answer here. Okay then let's take a look another example and I want to show you how to uh, make some new value from the existing value. In order to do that, uh, I'm going to create a new uh, data frame here. Like say list, friend dict list here. I'm going to create a new uh, list here uh, with some information here. Name is, name is John. And uh, there's a midterm, midterm midterm score 85 and uh, my final score is 80 here and uh, I'm going to just copy this over copy this over and create uh, two more information in this list okay so second name uh, Jenny and the third name is Nate and the midterm score is um, uh, 95 and uh, here 10 and uh, final well, uh, 85 maybe, there's 80 already, so I'm going to give 30 here, and I'm going to create a data frame from this, data frame uh, from friend dict list, and columns is uh, name, uh, midterm, and last one is final, shift enter, okay, let's take a look at the data frame here. So here we have the midterm and final. Uh, how can we have the total value? Something like midterm plus final value. So I want to create a new column name um, here, total. I want to have a total value, which is from the F midterm plus the F um, final. It's uh, very human intuitive. So let's take a look at the data frame here. Then you can see we just created total value here, which is the midterm plus final, midterm plus final, midterm plus final. Uh, in the same way, you can have the average value like the F. Uh, we want to have average here. Average is the F uh, total value divided by two because we have the midterm and final divided by two. And now uh, you can take a look at the data frame here. Now we have the average value like 82.5, 90, and 20 here. Good. Okay. What if we want to have the grade here like the above 90, we can give the A, above 80, we can give the B, something like that. In this case, I'm going to use some different way. 
let's create one list here. This list will uh, have the, the grade value and uh, eventually at the last time we are going to add this grade value in the data frame. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to iterate through this data frame um, average value because average has the information that we can give the grade and uh, in this rule we can say if rule number if rule is greater than 90 then we can uh, add grade grades that append because it's a list we can add a here right and uh, above then 80 here so we can just copy this guy and over here a leaf as if if the rule is more than 80 we can give a b and uh, maybe the others you can just say F because we just have three information here. I'm going to just give else here, else we just give the F. All right, so we will iterate through first row, second row, and third row. First one will have the B, so great, we'll have the B and then the A, then F, right? So great, now have the uh, B, A, F. And we can add here the F grade is the grade here. Okay, let's take a look at the div now. So data frame that head, you can see there is a grade B, A, and F. So in this situation, we created a list here and we iterated a data frame, data frame average column, and we appended every result and eventually uh, we added this list into the data frame. Okay, so easy. There's another way to do something like similar like that. So the example here is uh, instead of the letter grade here, A, B, F, we can say like pass or fail. So in this case, I'm going to use the data frame apply function. How to use the apply function, I can show you here. So first you need some kind of function here like pass or fail. And I'm going to pass the parameter rule here. And if the rule is F, then we can return uh, fail, right? Fail. And uh, else we can return pass. So now we have this function. And uh, there is a data frame function name apply. Apply, what apply does is, uh, let me show you here. We can have the grade here. We can have the grade, which is from the df grade that apply uh, this function. Um, what it means is we want to use the df grade, so we want to use baf and the apply pass or fail function. So we are going to give the baf as a parameter of this function, and the result is going to be in the data frame grade. So basically, we are updating this grade using this function applying this function okay so shift enter here now you can say df.head so you can see the grade is passed if the grade is not f but the grade is fail if the grade is f cool well there's another example to change the, the column let me show you one more one more thing here so um here i can create a uh, date list maybe date list and uh, let me create some more information inside. Like uh, I want to have okay, why 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 mmdd. And uh, this one is like the 2000 okay, uh, 627. And I'm going to just copy this guy over to create more example inside. Here maybe I want to have it 2010, 2007, and July. August and uh, create a data frame from here pd dot data frame data frame and uh, here I'm going to give this list this list and uh, columns we can say here uh, this column okay I'm going to copy this guy over uh, a little bit hard okay copy this guy over inside here. Okay, let's take a look at data frame here. Now we have the data frame has yyyy dash mm and dash dd. But there is a case that you want to uh, you want to uh, take out some value from here, right? It's kind of feature extraction. What if you want to 
extract year value from this column then you can just say that uh, let's use the apply function here as well like I'm going to create new function here if we get one row here then I want to just return row that split uh, by dash and a zero value what it means is I want to split the column value here so the list will have the 2000 and the 6 and the 27 so the first value 0 index is 2000 so what I want is just get the first index so uh, I'm just uh, returning the first index from here so shift enter here and now you can say df new column name year is uh, df uh, from this column, right? From yyyy-mm-dd from here that apply which apply I want to use this function and get the value to the df here which is a new column here let's take a look at df here then you can see we just extracted only year in different column here in the year column alright there are various ways uh, to do it and there are various situation to do something modifying, updating, or creating new columns. I hope this helps you to create or modify your columns. Um, lastly, I want to show you how to add rows here. Uh, for example, let me just bring one example here. So let me br just bring this one. Okay. So what if you will have this one? So the app here we just have a 0, 1, 2. What if you want to have one more row here? So it's adding row. Adding row. So in this case, uh, you can just easily create a new data frame here. And the PD data frame, frame. And uh, in the data frame, I want to add something, a list here. And in the list, you want to have something like name Ben and uh, 50 50 it means a uh, midterm is 50 final is 50 okay I think I think and uh, here here yes I will need to add a column information so columns is um, here first column is name second column is midterm and uh, last one is final all right shift enter all right the F2 is ready we have the DF2 and then we can concatenate the existing one with this new data frame how so the original data frame was this one df so the f dot append the new data frame here and the ignore index is true because we don't want to yeah and new index there like it's zero and zero right and the shift enter then you can see now john jenny nate and ben here right so we just added new row in the uh, in the existing data frame so in this tutorial i covered how to create a row column and uh, how to update the row and column i hope this tutorial uh, helps you to use the pandas and always you can jump into my jupyter notebook in this github and practice yourself all right then see you on the next video